What is up? So today we're going to talk about Justin Herbert, the quarterback from Oregon. My name is George, and this is the Sports Freak. So just a heads up, this video is going to be different than my typical breakdown of quarterbacks. So uh, Justin Herbert, he was a four-year starter at the University of Oregon. His freshman year, he came on the scene. Uh, he started seven games, throwing for 1,936 yards with 19 touchdowns to four interceptions. His sophomore year, he started eight games before breaking his collarbone and missing the next five games. He had 1,983 yards with 15 touchdowns to five interceptions. Uh, his junior year, he threw for 3,151 yards with 29 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. His senior year, he threw for 3,471 yards with 32 touchdowns to 6 interceptions. Statistically, he got better and better each year. First, I just want to say, Justin Herbert has all the physical tools you would want in an NFL quarterback. He's got height, good weight, size, 6'6", uh, six six, arm strength. My main problem is that he tends to lose accuracy, poise, and touch in some of the cleanest pockets. After watching a lot of film on him, there was a lot I couldn't get over when it comes to his mental traits. There's so many situations where he would lose accuracy as a result of rushing his throws, and a lot of that is due to his poise in the pocket. Take this play for example versus Washington. It's second and nine. Midway through the second quarter, his receiver on the bottom of the screen, I believe, is going to run a slant route. Herbert throws a back shoulder throw for some reason with too much power and zip on it. It could be a lack of communication, but I, I don't think it is based on this play. But uh, it's these plays right here where he gets flustered under no pressure in a decently clean pocket, locks on his first read, and loses that accurate poise due to him rushing his throws. If he was patient in the pocket, he can see where the wide receiver is running. Here's another throw, for example, in the same game. He has a clean pocket and sees his tight end come wide open, but he delivers a pass that's too high and has too much zip on it and no touch on it. As a result, as I said before, it's too high for his tight end to even try and grab onto. These are the types of throws that he is impatient while throwing the ball and as a result loses his accuracy and touch on the throw. He needs to be relaxed and calm on this throw. Keep his poise. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to the mental aspect of his game. Another, another throw right here where he has a clean pocket and overthrows this simple route. I think this shows his lack of confidence in himself. The best QBs always have confidence in their abilities. In this next play, you'll see the same issue where he has a clean pocket, does his double hitch, and then overthrows his receiver who is wide open on the sideline. Like I said, he has all the physical tools to succeed at the next level, but he lacks this mental toughness, composure, and poise that you need, the intangibles, the it factor, so to speak. Quarterbacks in this year's draft, like Joe Burrow and Tua Tagovailoa, who seem to be the consensus to top quarterbacks in this year's draft have that uh, so to speak it factor there will be a play that uh, where Herbert shows that flashes of his brilliance and why he is a top quarterback in this year's draft uh, in this play there's pressure in his face and he delivers a dime down the field to his tight end a perfect NFL throw but he doesn't make these throws on a consistent basis especially when you go back and watch the film he just does not do this on a consistent basis I can see why there is the hype from his physical attributes and athleticism, but his lack of consistency and tendency to rush throws even in the cleanest pockets will make it extremely difficult to make it at the next level. If I was a GM, I would think twice before drafting him. I honestly do believe he is the most physically gifted quarterback in this year's draft, able to run when he tucks the ball and takes off and runs, he runs like a track sprinter. But I just don't see the mental aspect of his game there fully developed after these four years at Oregon. But you guys let me know what you think. Do you think he will be a bust or a success in the NFL? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe as well. Make sure also to hit the bell for notifications so you know the next time I post a video. And also follow me on Instagram as well. The link is down below. In my next video, we'll be talking about Tua Tango Loa and his draft analysis. 
I'll see y'all in another video soon.